My brothers and sisters, we live at a time of great challenges. We live in a world that is very different. And we are a generation that is experiencing phenomenal changes in world affairs, in science and technology, advances in human civilization, and also we live at a time of great difficulties. Never before in human history have we had so much evil done by people who at the same time call themselves civilized. Drugs are with us, all sorts of evils surround us. And the media has reached every center of our lives, including our bedrooms. There's no point to hide. In such a turbulent world, in a world that is at war with itself, in a world that is disintegrating, in a world that has exceeded in every sense and in every manner in committing sins and evils. In such a world, we need to renew the message of Islam. We need to reinvent ourselves. We need to refocus on the message of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We need, we as Muslims, we need to be able to give such a world new hope, a new meaning in life, and a new direction. We need to be able to break the frontiers of evil as we expand the frontiers of goodness. We need to be able to shrink the frontiers of uh, murdering and so many other evils as we give the world a new message of hope and a new direction. We do that not simply because we want to save the world, but more importantly because we want to save ourselves. If we don't, we shall be caught by the dangers of the world. We shall suffer like the evildoers. We shall suffer and we shall pay the price like all the pharaohs of modern day life in order for us to be able to create a better world for ourselves and for our future, for posterity and future progenies, we need to be able to take a further examination into why we were created as human beings, into the message of Islam as embodied in the Quran, which is the ultimate miracle and the ultimate message from none other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 